I have six center builds to show you in today's video. Some of these builds will be super tall. Some will be shorter. Some will be super strong. Some will be able to shoot the ball. And some won't and will be more of a dominant force inside. So no matter what you prefer, this video could help you get a better idea on what you want to make for 2K25. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all. And let's go ahead and get into the first set of builds. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another early 2k25 video now this video is for all my centers out there or for maybe all my guards out there that need a build for their teammate who's going to be playing center now there are some power four builds in here but there are mostly center builds in here as well now we're going to go from six eight to seven foot all the way to seven foot one some are going to be inside centers some are going to be shooting centers we're going to start with up two six eight power forwards though and then we're going to move on to some centers now the reason i'm starting with these six eight power forwards is because these builds are a lot harder to make than they were in 2k25 so their stats aren't nearly as good but if you're someone that likes to play threes and twos and sweat out those game modes and you plan on getting cap breakers then this build's gonna be really good for you now i personally didn't get to mess around with any center builds at community day but i got a bunch of other good centers that were at community day to send me their footage of what builds they made and then i kind of you know collected all of them and picked out which ones i thought were the best so shout out to Hollywood for this specific 6'8 power forward build. He went with a 7 foot 4 wingspan, 225 pounds, 6 foot 8. So that wingspan is going to allow him to still get a 78 three pointer. And this is going to be more of a fast build compared to more of a stronger build, but it's still going to have strength. So with the finishing, the finishing is really weak on a lot of these popper builds that you're going to notice because they just have, they just don't have a lot of attributes this year for whatever reason. And there's so many other attributes that it needs to spend on. So you get a 72 standing dunk. So it's not like you don't get anything like you're going to be able to, you know, dunk the ball on a slip or a back door. You're just not going to be able to get like a contact dunk or anything or do anything crazy. You're just going to be able to, you know, dunk an open standing dunk. And it's, that's going to give you bronze rise up as well. Moving on to the shooting. This is one of the few popper builds that I saw at Community Day that actually had a mid range. Now, keep in mind at Community Day, we were testing jump shots. Tracy McGrady was still a really good jump shot when I was messing around with stuff. So some of y'all might want to push that mid range to whatever threshold T-Mac is at and get that jump shot again. But at least this build has an 80 mid range. Personally, I feel like, I don't know, there's just, like I said, there's not a lot of attributes for these 6'8 power fours to work with. But I, if I was making a power four 6'8 build, I would try to push for a high mid range to get as many shooting matters as possible. But this one gets a 78-3, an 80 mid-range, which is going to give you bronze shifty shooter, bronze dead eye, and silver set shot specialist. Now, once again, if you want to put free throw on these builds because you're playing fives, go ahead and do so. You guys know free throw is cheap every year. Now, with the playmaking, this is another spot where like these 6-8 popper builds really struggle to get good stats in because the defense, the rebounding, and all the and all the physicals are just so expensive on these builds, and you have to have those stats. So it gets a 65 pass accuracy. I mean, is that good? Heck no. But is it like somewhat viable on twos and threes? Yeah, you're just going to have to watch your passes. I mean, personally, I would like to, them to try to reach a 71 passing. But like I said, this is why we're showing these six eights first, because they are not nearly as good as they have been in the past. Moving on to the defense, though, this is where the build has a lot of strong suits at. So you get a 70 interior defense and 82 perimeter to switch on to other players and play the perimeter a 91 steal so you can get those lanes i mean that's really the best part about these six eight popper builds is you know lanes rebounds and being able to spread the floor and then you get an 84 block a 70 offense rebound and a 93 defensive rebound now this is going to give you silver challenger this is going to give you bronze on ball menace this is going to give you silver immovable forcer gold glove gold interceptor silver high fly denier silver paint patroller silver pogo stick and you're going to get gold rebound chaser and gold box out beast and looking at the physicals 85 speed is actually really really fast for a 6'8 power forward. I mean, the, the fastest 6'8 poppers that I really saw in 2K24 was around 81 speed. So 85 speed is really good. And then 82 agility. If you guys don't know, agility is what makes you move better laterally on defense. That's really good for this build. 85 strength and a 75 vertical. Now, honestly, I don't like this 6'8 popper build as much as the one that I'm about to show you next. 
but this one's still a viable option if you're looking for more of a mid-range and a higher block and even like faster agility and speed now the build name ends up coming out to a stretch four compared to draymond green evan mobley and sean marion now the next 68 popper build i'm going to show you is iggy mo's shout out to iggy mo for sending me his footage and he went same height same wingspan but he went 245 pounds so he could be stronger now once again starting with the finishing i'm telling y'all bro these 68 poppers are really hard to make in the builder and a lot of you are probably going to say that these 68s are just trash builds but if you are looking to make a 6-8 and you load up 2K25, you're going to struggle to try to get the stats that you want to get. I mean, look at this finishing. Once again, it's really just the 72 standing dunk. You get the bronze rise up. Then we go to the shooting and it's just, it's looking ugly, man. 68 midi, 78 three. That's why I showed the first one because at least that one has some kind of midi. But yeah, you're, you're still getting the same badges though. Bronze shifty shooter, bronze dead eye, silver set shot specialist. So you didn't really get any extra badges with the 80 mid range anyways. Then to the playmaking, it's the same 65 pass accuracy. But this is where I think this build is better at. And that's with how he choose to upgrade the defense. So starting with a 71 interior, but this time we're going to go with an 85 perimeter and you're going to get that silver on ball medicine instead of bronze. And you're also going to get a 93 steel. Now, you may ask, oh, why a 93 steel? You still get the gold steel badges. Well, if you plan on getting your cap breakers, this is definitely going to be the popper build you're going to want to go with. Because if you look back at the max potential on this build, the max potential was a 97 steel. So if you use just a couple cap breakers on steel, you can get Hall of Fame Interceptor, then put a badge elevator on it and get Legend Interceptor on this build. Not only that, but he ends up going with an 80 offensive rebound and a 95 defensive rebound. And you're probably wondering, all right, why a 95 defensive rebound? Well, that's because once again, the max potential on this build is a 96 rebound. And at 96 rebound, you can get Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. And if you put the cap breaker on that, that's Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. And maybe if you want to put the badge elevator on the, the Rebound Chaser instead, that's Legend Rebound Chaser. So this build, depending on how you use your cap breakers, with, with just using like four total cap breakers, which you're going to get five early on in the rep system, you can get Hall of Fame Interceptor and Legend Rebound Chaser on this build, which is pretty crazy to think about considering you could even eventually get 15 cap breakers on this build. But anyways, moving on to the physicals, then you have an 84 speed, 79 agility, so a little slower than the other build, 83 strength and 81 vertical. So honestly, you could go lower weight on this considering that he didn't put that strength up anyways, even, go, he, even though he went higher weight. But then again, you would have to sacrifice something on defense. And I really like his defensive stats on this build. So once again, if you don't like either of these 6'8 power forward shooting builds, then honestly, I wouldn't recommend making a 6'8 power forward shooting build at all because you're not going to like that build, period, no matter how you customize it. Anyways, this comes out to be a two-way stretch four with the extra defense. Moving on to the next two builds, we are going to be focusing on seven foot inside center builds. Now, insides are going to be a lot better and a lot more, I guess, relevant in 2K25 than they were in 2K24. And I'm not saying they weren't relevant in 2K24. I'm just saying they're going to be more relevant in 2K25. Now, starting with the first seven foot build from Iggy Mo, once again, shout out to him for making this one. He went with 248 pounds and a seven foot eight wingspan. This is still going to allow him to get that 74 three pointer while having a long wingspan and enough strength for that at 91 strength which is a big threshold you want to meet on a lot of these center builds now starting with the finishing dude the finishing on this build is a little crazy it might even be a little too crazy and that's why i might not like this one as much as the next seven foot inside center build i'm going to show you but this dude has a 98 standing dunk for hall of fame rise up i mean that is insane you are going to be getting some crazy standing dunk meters with this build and you're also going to get contact standing dunks with this build and it also gets a 68 driving dunk and an 83 close shot so you could probably even post hook a little bit with this build and also get some good driving dunks on some slips now moving on to the shooting well there is no shooting this is inside center build if you want to put a free throw yourself go ahead and do that i'm sure a lot of you will be playing fives with these taller builds so you're probably going to want to do that but moving on to the pass act he put a 93 pass act which gives you Hall of Fame Break Starter, which is definitely something you're going to want to have on the fives court. 
Silver Bailout, Silver Versatile Visionary, and Hall of Fame Dimer, which is for whatever reason, a tier two badge on this build. So at level 15, you can spend a tier two badge to get Legend Dimer. I mean, this build might have the best tier two badge in the game. How is its Hall of Fame Dimer a tier two badge? I, I don't even know. That has to be like a mistake or something, but hey, just don't tell anybody and you can go ahead and make this build and use your level 15 badge elevator on legend dimer and then still have your tier one badge elevator left over moving on to the defense we have a 72 interior defense a 65 perimeter which is going to give you bronze and movable forcer and bronze off ball pass a 70 steel which is going to give you bronze interceptor bronze glove once again another interesting badge to have at tier two they got bronze glove at tier two but i think that dimer is the better one to spend it on 74 block so honestly the interior in the block is not really that crazy on this build but once again if you know what you're doing on defense with a seven foot seven eight wingspan like the bronze block and interior badges are going to be good enough for you to spend these attributes a lot of the other these attributes elsewhere but if you're not comfortable with that that's why we have another option for you anyways 80 offensive rebound and a 96 defensive rebound which is going to give him hall of fame rebound chaser Hall of Fame Box Out Beast and Silver Pogo Stick. So you can use that tier one uh, badge elevator at level 30 on Legend Rebound Chaser. And you can have Legend Rebound Chaser, Hall of Fame Rise Up, and Legend Dimer on this seven foot inside build. And then you get a 69 speed, 57 agility, 91 strength, which is a big threshold you want to meet for that Box Out Beast. By the way, you also get Bronze High Flying Denier on this build, and you get the 70 vertical. I mean, yeah, 69 speed, slow, but I mean, it's a seven foot. It's the max speed you get. And guys, this build is compared to Shaq. Yeah, Shaq, Rudy Gobert, and Jalen Dern, and it's called an interior scoring playmaker. Honestly, this is definitely a glitchy center build. And even if you don't like some of the stats, you can mess around with it. But I think the three things that make it really interesting is once again, using those badge elevators to get Legend Rebound Chaser, Legend Dimer, and also having a really high rise up. But that Legend Rebound Chaser and the Legend Dimer, ooh, that's going to be a crazy combo with this build. Anyways, the next seven foot inside center build is from my boy Dooms. Shout out to him for giving me the, this footage. And this one's a better option for you if you're comfortable with a higher block and a higher vertical to get some more rebound animations. So Dooms went seven foot, 256 pounds in a seven foot eight wingspan. So the same thing, just eight more pounds. Starting with the finishing, he went with a 93 standing dunk. So that's still really good. He's still gonna get standing contact dunks, but he's gonna go ahead and get gold rise up and save some extra attributes to spend elsewhere. Looking at the shooting, once again, this is not a shooting build, so it has no shooting. If you wanna upgrade the free throw for fives, which I would recommend doing, go ahead and do so. You can easily sacrifice like one or two other stats somewhere else and get it. Moving on to the playmaking, he went instead of a 93 pass sack, he went with that 91 pass sack. And then moving on to the defense, he has a 77 interior, so it's not a crazy upgrade from the last one. 64 perimeter, 70 steel for those bronze steel badges, but this time getting a 93 block on this build. And instead of going defensive rebound, he went offensive rebound, which honestly I prefer on these seven foot big man builds, especially if you're playing rec. But he has a 96 offensive rebound and an 84 defensive rebound, which is gonna go ahead and give him that Hall of Fame rebound chaser once again. And then this build, 67 speed, 54 agility, 89 strength, and 82 vertical. So this build's vertical vertical is a lot higher than the last build it also has a lot higher block and honestly this build in my opinion is better than the first seven foot build we looked at and it is going to be compared to will chamberlain rudy gobert and zubach and it's also called an interior scoring playmaker now moving on to the last set of builds we have a seven foot shooting center and then a seven foot one shooting center and honestly, these builds in the right hands are going to be really, really good in 2K25. So starting with Doom's 7-foot shooting center build, shout out to him for sending me this footage once again. He's going to start off with the finishing by putting a 90 standing dunk, which is going to give him that gold rise up. And I mean, what I like about this build so much is the shooting on this build is really good. 87 mid-range and an 83 three-pointer. And by the way, he is 7-foot. 253 pounds with a seven foot two wingspan so he has a lower wingspan but the shooting is really good 
but the pass act's gonna take a hit compared to these other builds it has an 83 pass act though still so it's not you're not gonna get that hall of fame break starter but you're still gonna get some solid passing badges like silver break starter gold dimer which for whatever reason is still on tier two on these taller builds and bronze versatile visionary oh and i forgot to mention the shooting badges yes yeah, silver dead eye silver set shot specialist and bronze post fade phenom on this build oh and bronze limitless range which is pretty crazy for a seven footer which is pretty crazy for a seven footer and if you use a badge elevator on that dude you can get silver limitless on a seven footer then moving on to the defense 85 interior defense so by far the highest interior we've seen on any of these builds 62 perimeter 59 steel 93 blocks so a really high block only a 69 o board but he met the threshold for the rebounding badges and got that 94 defensive rebound so this build's gonna get gold paint patroller it's gonna get silver post lockdown gold off ball pass bronze immovable forcer gold high flying denier which is a tier two badge somehow so hey you want to use that level 15 badge elevator and get hall of fame high flying denier on the seven foot build that, that could be crazy plus silver limitless range on the tier one uh cap breaker it also gets gold rebound chaser hall of fame box out beast gold pogo stick and this one's going to be called a two-way three level scoring threat which is weird because a lot of guard builds are getting this build name now moving on to the next seven foot uh shooting center build shout out to laker fan for setting me this build this is still not what i think is the best center build in the game we're going to show the best center build uh in the next build during this video but yeah just to quickly go through this it's very similar i just think it's more polished than doom's seven foot shooting center build he gets a 90 standing dunk for that gold rise up he has a mid-range with a 78 74 three-pointer so the shooting's not as good but he has a way higher wingspan and if you know how to shoot the ball with these lower three-pointers this is going to be a much better option with you it also has that 90 free throw it gets the 87 pass sack it gets an 82 interior 65 perimeter 60 steel 84 block with a 96 offensive rebound for that hall of fame rebound chaser 84 defense rebound 69 speed 57 agility 91 strength 80 vertical so yeah i just think this is a more polished version of the last build i just showed but moving on to the seven foot one build shout out to laker for sharing this build with us this is what i think is the best center build i saw anyone make at community day first of all starting with a 60 driving dunk and a 90 standing dunk for that gold rise up once again the same shooting 78 mid-range 78 or 74 3 90 free throw this time getting that 89 pass sack and keep in mind this build is seven foot one 251 pounds with a seven foot ten yes seven foot ten wingspan it gets an 82 interior it gets a 63 perimeter it gets a 60 steel 84 block 97 o board 90 d board so by far the best rebounding center build we have seen in today's video not only that 63 speed 50 agility but it also meets the 91 strength threshold to get that gold brick wall hall of fame box out b silver post lockdown and bronze immovable forcer and it still has a 75 vertical even while being seven foot one so let me know which center builds your so let me know which center builds were your favorite throughout this video and make sure to drop a like at this video helps you out at all subscribe to the channel if you guys are new it's been boy henry aka double h no matter y'all peace